As Christians, we have the ability to heal our own selves. Personally, I never knew of this, so I listened to this very sermon. In this sermon, Pastor Chris teaches the church how he healed himself when he was very, very young. So he was like, he would place his hands on his body and declare healing, and healing will just come to him instantly. I believe this sermon will help us as Christians to heal ourselves daily. So God bless you as you all listen to Pastor Chris. You got to train, train yourself, train yourself, put your faith to work, put your faith to work. I first started learning how to use the word. Oh God, I hope we can really get into that. Maybe tomorrow or so. But train how to put the word to work. First with my own body. Once I had, it was just, I was just beginning to learn it. I was a teenager. And um, I had a cut. And it was bleeding. And my mind went straight to the woman with the issue of blood. How that when she touched the master, the Bible says the issue of blood ceased. Now, I understand very well about touching God with faith. So for me, that was a simple thing for me to do. So I said, in the name of Jesus, stop bleeding. So I put my, my finger there and said, stop bleeding. Then I thought, I can go beyond that and say, be healed and join together. And there it was. The bleeding stopped. I was excited. The bleeding stopped and it joined together and then there was no mark. So I was excited. I was excited. The young guy. I was excited. I felt I discovered something. I'm going to be using it. Now through the years, I did the same thing many times. Many times. So I'm quick to use the word. I'm quick. If I hit my leg against something, it's like, ah, ah, ah. I say, be healed. Or I say, heal. I even did something for a long time. And sometimes maybe, uh, you know, some of us, when we're eating, we're talking too. Okay? So sometimes I bit my tongue or I bit the size of my mouth. And then that pain will be there for another one week or more. And then you, you, you have difficulty, you know, what kind of food you're going to eat. And how many of you have experienced anything like that? Thank you. You know what I'm talking about. But then I learned something. I put it to practice. I put my finger there. And I say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Then I noticed every time I did it, it was healed instantly. Never failed once. Then I, I tried, okay, let me not say anything. Then I noticed the pain continued over a while for several days. Then I said, okay, let me try. Maybe just put my hand there and just press it. And I did, but there was still no change. There was still a problem. So I said, okay, that means I actually was releasing my faith when I did it. From then on, every time I did it, every time, and when I say every time, not failed once. Whether it's the tongue or the side of my mouth, and I put my finger in there and say, be healed. The moment I injure it or I beat it, I be healed. In Jesus' name, be healed. Sometimes while I'm still chewing, be healed. <laughs> Because I don't want to carry another seven days or 12 days with the pain. You know? But it worked all the time. That wasn't a manifestation of a gift of the Spirit. It was putting the Word of God to work. Wow. Learning. It's a, it's a practice. Put the Word to work. Practice it. Do it. Sometimes you might find that something you're trying didn't work. That means there's something you don't know yet about it. So learn it again. 
Try again. Because the word will not fail. Hallelujah. You're following that.